several hundreds have renounced their pagan beliefs and turned to the teaching of Catholicism. Our work here is different. The heathens must learn the language and then the teachings. Most are not receptive, but only come looking for conversion to the true Lord from fear of what might happen to them if they do not. No matter, all paths lead to God's light. In the evenings, I rest easily, comforted by the conviction we will save these poor lost souls. Excerpt from the journal of Beltran, Ordinius Predicatorum. Impossible. I can't carry any more. <laughs> All full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Impossible. I can't carry any more. St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he's the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. Rumours have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings, 
They grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's light. These are two legendary trees which complement one another. The Chechen tree secretes a substance which is poisonous upon contact, and the nectar of the Chaka tree can neutralize that poison before it results in serious burns. The fascinating thing about these trees is that they always grow very near to each other. According to legend, two brothers, warrior princes, fought a battle to the death over the love of a woman and died in each other's arms. They begged the gods for forgiveness, and it was granted. Kinich, the kind one, was reborn as a benevolent Chaka tree, while Tizik, the hate-filled one, was reborn as the poisonous Chechen tree. Sounds like trouble. All full up, can't carry any more. That gas is likely flammable. Ugh, smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur.
awful. Up. Can't carry any more. <laughs> Sheila here as well. <sighs> All full up, can't carry any more. This is the way out. Have enough space for that. Have to get on that platform. to get on that platform. I don't have enough space for that.
all full up. Can't carry any more. The Maya Tree of Life, also known as Yashe, plants its roots in the underworld and then passes through our world as its branches extend all the way into paradise. Lurking somewhere inside the world tree is its Samye, a bird god who is said to know all the secrets of the three planes of existence through which the world tree grows. Thank <laughs> you.